I want to illustrate the use of raster file backgrounds. Uh, for example, the pipe system shown here has a raster file background, which is a scanned in county map. And uh, this background can be scaled so that when we lay these pipes out, they're to scale. We can zoom in and zoom out and see the details of this particular system. Uh, now, the scaling's already taken place. For example, this uh, pipe right here is about 4,000 feet long going from this intersection to this intersection. So I'll go back and start with a new file and show how we would go through this process. Now we'd go into map settings and add a map. However, we can't add a raster file unless it has been scaled and has what we call a reference file. So Pipe 2000, we provide a, a utility which will allow us to import a raster file and provide some information to define the coordinates. So I'm going to start up this utility and access this map that we just looked at. Now I'll open up this map and just go through and select the map and open it up. Now it'll give us these options. I can specify two corners and they're already specified but the coordinates are pretty much at this point one pixel is one unit. We would normally start with a corner and a scale, and the scale will initially default to one to one. Now we really don't know what the scale is, so we can choose this, then go back into our system and look at a certain link that we know the length of, and come and find out what scale would be required to provide that length, and then come back and change these scales. But I have to first be able to load the map, so I do this, exit this program, and go back in and load this map. I can zoom to this the whole map. Now down in this area somewhere was where I knew the distance. So I go back in here and I think it was a distance between this point and this point. So I can lay out a pipe length from here to here. And I know that's supposed to be 4,000 feet long. But here it's 173 which is a factor of, of over 20. Maybe 23 or 24. So what I will do is go back in to the map link program and use the correct scale. And now when I lay out this pipe, go back and check this, if I use a scale factor, which is the length that I know this to be divided by the length that I'm giving on the using one pixel per unit, uh, I will have the scale that I need. Now I'll also refer you to the help. There's some detailed instructions on scaling the raster files. But once we've done that, we can go back in and reload the raster file. It will be scaled and we'll be able to proceed with our development of our piping system.